Ooh, what's here? I really like the custom parts thing. Really wish that I could hold more ammo than 30 handgun bullets, which is ridiculous, but whatever. Oh, that's a key door. Uh, yeah, we need to go in here. Oh, hi, Mr. Deerhead. Let's see. Oh, it's a map. Sweet. We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Ooh. Oh, I need that to get that one thing! And Jill's just like, not another crest! Not again! Oh, history of the Queen Zenobia. Tonnage, 148,000 gross tons. Displacement, 90,000 tons. Like, hold on. I swear, this game is not boring me. It's just like... Uh, what time is it? It's 11.36pm, so I'm a little late. Eh. And this is the third set that I'm recording. Anyhow, length 335.8 meters, beam 52.3 meters, height 93.97 meters, propulsion, electric diesel propulsion, crew 194 officers and crew, that's a lot of people, passengers 200 and uh, 2,200, so 2,200. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, you have almost one crew member for every two, so that's not bad. Uh, this paragloss, uh, line, hold on. <laughs> I swear I'm not bored. Um, flagship was constructed in 1978. The interior is designed to replicate that of ships of the 1930s, the golden age of cruise ships. The design was based on blueprints left by George Trevor. Oh, God damn it, George Trevor! I was actually not expecting him to make an appearance. That's why it reminds me of the mansion from Resident Evil 1, because that was George Trevor's design. There's a reason for it. Good job, Capcom. Uh... Left by George Trevor before his disappearance. Newspapers from the time of the ship's construction report... Accolades the design received. Uh, the ship herself is named after Zenobia, the queen of the Palamarine Empire, who was disposed by the Romans. Like the legendary beauty of her namesake, the ship is also known, also known as Typos. Wouldn't be Capcom without Typos. Um, the beauty were a game without Typos, really. The beauty of the Atlantic and remain one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. With the rise of air travel supplanting the popularity of long seafaring voyages, it looked like the Queen Zenobia, along with her sister ship, was destined to be junked in the late 80s. That is terrible. Ooh, sorry. Um, fortunately, she was purchased by the Paraguay Line and Paraguay's Paragu words line, and her steam turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her old and cabin areas were expanded, and she was upgraded with the latest technology. The Queen Zenobia was reborn as a fully functional luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zenobia sent out... Hold on. <laughs> ...set out on a cruise around the world, followed by one around South America and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbor in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. The Queen Zenobia will be bringing pleasure to passengers for years to come. The history of the Queen Zenobia 1995 edition. Wow, that's as old as I am. Almost 21 years old. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I only mention that because... Hi, dead person. Yummy! How horrible must have been a painful death. How did he... Did he get disemboweled? Looks like, and then there's maggots. At least it's not leeches. You know, I would be knifing every... 
every corpse in the head if I was Jill. I'm just saying. Seen way too many zombie things. Be like Jane from The Walking Dead Season 2, just knife! Yeah, maybe. It's not working. Well, that's an issue. Okay. Pardon me. All right. We've got to find Rain. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. Okay, yeah, so some bad shit happened. Handgun ammo case. Woo! Ooh, I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought it was like a telephone. Great work, Scarlet! Anyway, increases your ammo capacity. Sweet. How much can I hold? I can hold 50 now. It's a lot better. Still doesn't make sense why Jill wouldn't have more, but I'll let it slide. Damn it! Stop sucking my neck! There we go. I like how it's just a pile of goop and blood with ribs sticking out. I don't know, but I find that really funny. They're still gonna be empty, right? Yep. Yeah! All right. All right, get in here, Parker. Uh I guess we're going to the upper cabins. I just almost had a spaz attack. There was a piece of fuzz on my leg that looked like a spider. It was not a spider. Otherwise, you would hear me screaming. Ooh, yeah, this reminds me of the mansion. Wait, let's go into 303. Monsters? No monsters. It's a quote from something, but I don't know what. Ooh. I guess bottom of the bed? No, other side of the bed? Ooh, yes. Illegal custom parts? Well, I guess that I'm gonna have on my gun. Ooh, information! Note found in room 303. I like that they have this back. Because I don't like the, um... The new ones in Resident Evil 6. Where you don't actually, like, stop and read it. At least I think that's how they are. I don't remember. I try to block out as much of Resident Evil 6 as I can. Anyhow. What the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never seen monsters like this. Their movements are stiff, stilted. But it's all over if they get a hold of you. Those piece of shit monsters ate my friend Hassan. Bastards. I used my gun to frighten them off, giving me time to get the hell out of there. The bullet went straight through its arm, thank God. These monsters have bones like an old woman. There's nowhere left to run now. Damn monster twisted my leg good. Hell, I've run out of ammo too. God only knows how I'm gonna survive this. I'm guessing you did not. <laughs>